Welcome back, everybody. Before we get into the game, I want to talk to you all once again about Matcharino. I mentioned briefly before that you can get a free bag of Crave Beef Jerky with a $10 or more donation. Two bags if you do donate $15. So head on over to our Matcharino page there and pick up some of the amazing Crave Beef Jerky flavors such as chili lime, garlic chili pepper, and many, many more. Now with that, I am going to give it back over to our amazing casters, so take it away, Jordan. Alright, thank you, Felipe. Alright, also we're going to have another PVT coming up next. Uh, Cyax's <laughs> next player is a Protoss. So, uh, hopefully he's going to be able to... Uh, I don't know, hopefully he's going to be able to turn things around. I know momentum is really, really big in Team Leagues. It's... it's Definitely. Off the back uh, of yeah. one win, it feels easier to get the next one. You know what I mean? Definitely. I, I totally agree with you. And just the last game, I'm pretty sure that both teams were watching how the game was progressing. So uh, Epic, definitely, that was a strong build. So learning from that, if our Protoss player could just form some kind of counter build to that, then that'll be a good strategy because uh, the next map is Abyssal Reef and Abyssal Reef, the tank positions, like if oh, you could just geez. get proper anchor, it could be pretty damn nasty. Yeah, definitely. This is I, I definitely feel you're right. This is a map that favors that two base tank push that we saw out of Epic in game one. And I right. know how most StarCraft players are. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if we see very definitely. similar play out of Epic. But like you said, um, the Protoss from Cyax was able to watch game one, uh, see how Epic played, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully for his sake was able to adjust uh, whatever plans he had going into this matchup to uh, to counter what Epic does here. Right. Now, what's going to be definitely interesting for me is the, how the Protoss player is going to form that exact strategy to counter the tank push, and of course, with that, it has to come with proper scouting. Uh, my biggest question here is if he's going to go with Oracles uh, from Stargate or Robo and do try to do the same build, but actually better. So that would be my biggest uh, thing to look out for when we get into this game. Yeah, I really, uh, I really was hoping to see some uh, proxy shenanigans. Uh, hmm. Protoss and Terran uh, both have tons of options at their disposal, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that is what we're going to see here. Uh, spawning in the bottom right. The purple Protoss representing Psionic Aftermath. It is Swagger. Spawning the top right, uh, top left, sorry about that. It's uh, from Psystorm Gaming. It's Epic coming back with the Terran Domination. So sorry. early on, uh, I've said that there could be some abusive tank positions. And the point, the location of that, I would like to point out, is the third base right in the middle of the map, either at the top or the bottom. And there's a little spot there that you can just shell down the second base. Uh, the natural area is pretty great. Yeah, it looks like you are going to get your wish, though. It is a Stargate opener. Stargate definitely is a very strong and powerful build. And the reason for that is because the moment you get that Oracle out, you have there's so much power in your hands. You can choose to go to uh, harass the workers, even if Terran is going for a strong push. You can just tag them with the revelation. The moment the Oracle spawns, the game is handed to you for a little while. Yeah, I'm surprised that we're not going to... Uh, well, maybe not surprised. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we'll see some Phoenix Adepts out of Swagger. I feel like it would counter the... Uh the marine tank opener that we saw out of epic quite nicely uh the phoenix can swoop in and timed right with the adept shades on top of the army lifts the tanks and that's most of the terran dps right there and right. then the phoenix handle the tanks and the adepts uh can handle the marines on the ground or should in enough numbers you'd be able to uh widow mines of course if that is what comes out out of epic uh will change things that is a tech lab going down so yeah it looks like it's going to be the same push out of epic uh, it, it seems that it's a little bit different because instead of the Vic uh, Raven, the Viking is coming out, and uh, yeah, but pretty much aside from that, I think it's going in a pretty similar line. But we'll just have to see what comes out of the uh, factory because we do know that it's Stargate. So is it going to be mines or is it going to be a, which it's a tech lab? So it, yeah, like you said, it's pretty much a similar build, but a Viking is made first to counter the Oracle. 
Yeah, of course. Uh, with three Adepts, though, pushing with this Oracle, that has a chance to get a lot of work done. Like you said, there's nothing to counter that Viking, so the Oracle is going to be on a time limit, even if the Adepts oh, are well on the ground. Oh, these Marines are just going to die, and that's not so good. You need three Marines for one Adept, and that is not a fair-looking fight right now. Uh, the Oracles are <laughs> have gotten their kills, but Viking is such a good deterrent against Oracles, and it has already gotten six kills along with the Adept. So, I, I, yeah. I can't believe that he had to land the Viking. The Oracle was retreating, and the right. Viking, of course, would have been very valuable to, to finish off that Oracle. I think it maybe had one shot left. Almost no health on that thing, as you can see. But he just needed it to kill that Adept. There's nothing else. He tried to fight it with some SCVs, and it was just too much. And now there's two Oracles coming in. There's two Vikings as well, so these Oracles are going to die rather quickly. But the harassment oh, is just constant. Firepower. Right, right. So the Oracles are bruised, but like that's okay. I mean, there's already so much uh, SCV kills. Um, what? There's like, uh, Apogee, if you could just sh show how many workers were killed in that engagement. I think it was around like 9 or 10. Yeah, yeah 10. 10 workers right. killed. Definitely, uh, the Oracles have done their job. And when you get two Oracles, it becomes so much powerful because you can uh, one-shot, one-kill the workers with that DPS. So now all it has to do is tag the Marines with the Revelation and know exactly where it's coming from. Yep. He does have the one Phoenix. That's not going to be enough to contend with the two uh, Vikings, but I don't think he saw this push moving out. He definitely has no vision of it right now. He's taking the third oh, base like normal. Bad. He doesn't want the Oracles to be dying right now. Right, but uh, he has to notice something strange. Like, why are there no Marines and tanks in the bases? That is probably because it's moving out in a very similar fashion to the game one. So he has to be, uh, catch on to that right now. Yeah, and this is that tank positioning we were talking about when the game cranked up. Uh, two Ooh, tanks on the low ground. Yeah. Oh, there's no overcharge potential. The, the mother truck is in the main base. Right. Uh, for tank pushes like these, you definitely need some pylons so that they can tank some uh, tank shots and it can hold off the marines at bay. Oh, and here comes a bunker. That'll really get the adepts confused. A beautiful mine hit already going on, and oh my goodness, all these uh, Protoss fleet. It's lifting the tank, but it's just not much firepower. Uh, yeah, he didn't and get like any I said, of the these tanks. tank positions can be abusive. Uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying he didn't get any of the tanks. You have to keep that tank count low. And now they're That's all going to be alive. I think he's finally going to get just the one here. The two bunkers are done, and with this secure anchoring, it's going to be really tough. And actually, if he just proceeds to destroy the third base, I don't think uh, our Protoss player would have any forces to contest with that. He's making three adepts at a time, but he's uh, that's not enough against bunkers. Oh, the Phoenix comes out and picks off a Viking. <laughs> it's a little victory, but that's what you really need at this stage. And just every little victory you can take, that would be great to defend this strong tank push. Yeah, there's still no third base out of Epic, though. Uh, but I think it's not going to end up mattering. Yeah, this natural is about to go down, so it's back down right. to two base versus two base. And he's actually leading on workers right now, so I thought that maybe his economy would be in trouble off the back of this, but 10, SC, or 10 probes have died. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, so the supply is already, there's a massive difference. And with the bunker hopping, it's just going to be so difficult to contest. Now, what usually what you want to do against this entrenched position is that if you have uh, any Twilight upgrades, you can just use them. If you have charge slots, charge slots are pretty great. They have, they have massive DPS. If you have Immortals, they're always good at uh, busting bunkers. But right now, there's, there's not just much tech units that our Protoss player has. So this is a real uh, problem right here. No, the third base did finally start. Uh, but I mean, honestly, at this point, I mean, this is exactly where you don't want a Terran to be in between your bases. Right. So I was uh, hoping for some Taylor counter builds, but unfortunately, uh, the early aggression was just too much. And maybe getting two Oracles was a little bit of a uh, not the perfect idea. Uh, maybe if we could just uh, had some phoenixes and just intercept that force early on, that would be a great counter build, I think. Yeah, speaking of counter, there are some Protoss units heading across the map. Right. But once again, uh, I feel like it might be too little too late here. Right. Uh, the Adepts have gone into the Terran base, but uh, 
that pig uh, doesn't really do that parade push anymore. He has stationed some uh, marines already there, and he was just. It seems like he was just waiting for the adept to come here. Oh wow, this is getting a lot more work done than I thought it would. Eleven SCVs have been killed. Before oh this yeah, that's gonna get cleaned up. Why a bit? That's for sure. Yeah, it's plus one attack to versus plus one attack, so they're dead even on upgrades. But this <laughs> epic is just building bunkers and turrets and leapfrogging his way all the way up into the Protoss main base. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty brutal. Now, uh, plus one upgrade is pretty great, but it doesn't mean anything if the... Oh, that is a beautiful mine hit, and that uh, is just soul crushing right there. Uh, Nefts do really need to do something with this timing. It's uh, If those gateways go down, then units really can't come out of there anymore. Uh, okay, here comes the last push. The bunkers are just too solid right now. Tanks are providing additional firepower. It just seems that once they go into the bunkers, there's not much the adepts can do with their 11 damage. Yeah, unfortunately not. That Widow Mine closest to the ramp is off cooldown. Three more tanks heading across the map. The third base is in place for the Terran. And of course, with the power of mules and the orbitals, I mean, it's I mean, it's all... I, it's so tough not to call these games early, but a Swagger is just in such a rough, rough spot here that it's hard to see right. an angle that he can exploit to come back from this. Yeah, uh, maybe the best position would be to perhaps go for a base trade. I mean, if you can't win a frontal fight, you always go you want to go for a base trade. But uh, it just seems that adepts are not... Uh, if, and if the adepts oh. are partially split, it, then it's just going to be good for Terran. Yeah, is he going to let the shade complete? Oh my gosh. I was a little ambitious there. A couple tank shells gonna come down on those clumped adepts. And yeah, I guess he's turned his his, uh, his attention towards this third base. I mean, by this time of the game, the main's pretty much gotta be mined out or close to it. Yeah, GG is called. Uh, that's gonna be GG. Another beautiful tank push from Sony. From oh, Epic. sorry, Epic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that puts uh, Psystorm up two to zero. Right. So that push. Definitely shows that it's working in this team league. Uh, with already two kills down the road, uh, with more players to come out from yeah, the either side, I really hope to see a counter build being produced to really get the other team to back into the game, which would be Psionic Aftermath. So uh, I quite look forward to the next game to see what they can cook up. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not gonna teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.